Hello there, how are you doing? It's M0YKS and today I'm playing around with my Pi Aware Flight Aware antenna system. I'm going to try uh, modify it and get it a little bit further outside. I've, uh, I've settled for this for the past week or so, it's been working quite well and uh, I've just made a little bracket so using a bit of copper uh, welding wire I've formed up a little bracket which uh, clips inside of this cam, supports it and, uh, and hopefully I'll better lift that one up and as you can see it just fastens on there, I'm going to clip it on top of my mast so that's the plan for, for today and uh, this is how I've got the uh, little unit set up for a, a bit of another look at it that's the Raspberry Pi uh, PC unit and uh, that is the uh, Flight Aware dongle Flight Aware Pro, I've fit a couple of ferrites on because I uh, obviously operate on a radio I don't want any RF getting into the network cable when I'm transmitting so I've got a a couple of ferrites on this network cable which is quite a, a long extension it's a 30 meter uh, no sorry a 10 meter 30 foot 10 meter network cable and that just plugs into the, the back of the pi you can see the uh, the usb so sockets there for the flight aware that's how it that all configures it's all pretty basic straightforward and the antenna connection that's just on the back there of the uh, flight aware dongle so that's how it's set up and uh, so far so good and uh, with the uh, antenna position just at this particular location on this windowsill I've been getting um, aircraft uh, very good signals at 150 miles and uh, some of them have been uh, going up 200 miles so we're not doing too bad just in the windowsill so hopefully when I get it on my mast which is going to be another uh, 20 feet up higher uh, we'll do a lot better but uh, yeah that is the, the view that we've got it's a reasonable elevated location anyway so Obviously a few more feet on top is going to make a, a whirl of difference, so that's what the next project is. And the way I'm going to do it, I'm going to use a telescopic uh, fiberglass pole which is about uh, 25 feet in height. And I'll just uh, lift that one up and clip it onto the top of the mast. A few guys have uh, contacted me since I made the first video, uh, expressed a bit of interest in uh, this kind of setup. So it's not too expensive, there is a, um, a local supplier and you can buy the kit. The Raspberry Pi Flight Aware Kit. So if you if you search it on the, the Google search engine or whichever way you want to do that, you'll soon be able to uh, find the full kit. And looking at that, that has got an SD card in it at the front there. And that SD card is what um, basically programs the Pi. And it's got the uh, Flight Aware software pre-programmed on the card. So as you can see, my uh, Flight Aware is quite active. That is just with the uh, position in the windowsill. We've got some good coverage, quite a few aircraft have been located and um, tracked with all the data which I'm receiving uh, on my screen there so it is working quite effective at the moment so I'm hoping that with the uh, extra 15 feet or so it's going to make a massive difference so yeah I'm doing really well with the simple homemade antenna which uh, I got with the kit from W1D UK uh, who was the guy who, who made it all for me and sent it over so yeah this is good stuff and uh, the next stage is, is to get the shoes on, head outside and uh, see if we can get that little uh, extra few feet. Just before, just before I go out, I'm just going to show you the uh, footprint that I'm getting. This is uh, on the software, on the statistics. And as you can see there, that's showing um, the kind of distances that I'm reaching and the best uh, direction. So I'm hoping to improve that, the general all-round uh, bigger um, receiving footprint by uh, altering the height of the antenna. So that's the location of the antenna at the moment, it's just in that window, the top part, and uh, that's where I'm hoping to uh, put it, so I'm just going to get a few more feet out of it. You can't really get the full idea from uh, the camera angle, but uh, the antenna system is reasonable high, and I've got a few more antennas down there. That is a HF antenna, and uh, I'm not sure if you can see at the very bottom there we've got a, a, a big beam antenna. So these are for uh, different um, hobbies, these are for amateur radio. But uh, at the moment, I'm just uh, playing around with this 1090 megahertz antenna. So I'm going to be getting the pole out and uh, I'm going to be clipping it up just up there. So hopefully uh, I'm going to show you that when I've done it uh, very shortly. So just to explain what I mean by pole, this is the idea. So it's just a fiberglass pole and um, telescopic. So I'm just going to raise it up using this pole and then I'll be able to easily lift it up to the height that I require. So I've now got that in position, that's uh, up there. I'll be tidying the wires up a little bit later, it's just an experiment at the minute. 
So we'll see whether or not that uh, makes a big difference on the receive, it should do. We'll have a lot better um, 360 degrees uh, reception because the, the stone of the house will be not obstructing the small wavelength on 1090 megahertz. Well, the, the uh, noticeable difference is immediate. I can see an aircraft leaving Dublin right over there. Uh, that was not in my footprint previously, so we've just extended it immediately by at least 50 miles, probably more. So things are looking amazing, and this is just within the first couple of minutes. Look at the uh, amount of aircraft that we've got coming through there now. The list has, has doubled. We've now got 34 aircraft in position. I'm usually receiving about 10. So we've gone from 10 to 34 within the space of a couple of seconds just by hiring up and getting the antenna outside so that's the homemade um, coke can and quarter wave uh, antenna system which uh, which was made for me from the ham radio outlet guys over there in stateside sent it over as a uh, gift to uh, get into this and, and play around for you guys to see what it's all about so yeah I'm really impressed with the, uh, the five minutes effort I put in there just to put the antenna a little bit higher. So yeah, the results are fantastic. We'll uh, notice after a day or so uh, what the footprint's like, how it's improving, but I can have a quick look and we can have a quick look now and see. So already the footprint started to improve and that's just after a couple of minutes. So obviously when I look at it later on in the day, I expect to see that circle uh, of, of more distant reception uh, a lot fully around in a more of a 360 degree pattern. But uh, yeah, things are looking great on the first uh, initial experimental tests. And some of the statistics, uh, we're up to 229 so far, obviously. Uh, that's just the early part of the day. Yesterday, peaked at 478, and uh, I think I'm up to 535 is the highest I've received with the antenna uh, since I've had it. So I'm hoping to double that now. And um, we'll have a look later on. I'll have to uh, come back and give you an update. But this is the uh, data as it's coming in. And uh, yeah, it's a good, good bit of kit. I'm very impressed with the, uh, the Pi Aware Flight Aware. It's uh, straightforward and easy. And uh, yeah, I'm getting into it. So hope you're enjoying these videos. And, um, and I don't think it's particularly expensive to uh, get this set up up and running. And uh, now it's fully functional. I am contributing to the, to the official Flight Aware uh, network. And uh, I'm getting aircraft receiving their position from my ground station uh, confirming where they are so it's it's a two-way thing I'm uh, providing a service back to the uh, guys flying around and they're making my hobby a little bit more interesting at the same time so yeah I'm really impressed with the distances that I'm getting now uh, as you can see we've got some serious uh, distances there this is a 100 miles radius to there's 150 and this is a 200 mile radius so we're looking at, at 200 miles uh, that's what we're aiming for now and um, Obviously there's a lot more activity around these uh, airports. That's my local airport, which is Leeds Bradford Airport. So I hope you enjoyed the uh, update of the Flight Aware, Pi Aware, Sky Aware. And this is M0YKS just uh, coming at you. And uh, obviously if you're interested in uh, radio, uh, perhaps you could uh, subscribe or possibly like and uh, check out my YouTube channel. It's got lots of amateur radio stuff on there, including decoding satellites for weather images and making communication with the space station as well as talking around the world on the HF bands. So I'll catch you later and uh, have fun with the Pi Aware, Sky Aware and uh, keep it all going. Don't forget, make a homebrew antenna like that one, save yourself quite a bit of money. M0YKS signing out.